Databases are made up of columns and rows, but different types of databases treat these elements differently. The most common type of database is called a relational database, which uses a fixed set of columns. Data is stored in rows. Let's say you have a smart refrigerator and can track the temperature and humidity of the main unit and the freezer. In a relational database, you might see something like this. But the shape of time series data can easily change, so it needs a different approach. Like this. Instead of having their own columns temp and humidity, both fall under the generic field column. However, because these are different values of field, they are actually two separate tables, indexed in the table column. This data structure enables faster queries and aggregations in the most common usage patterns for InfluxDB. But sometimes you may want your time series data to look like relational data. InfluxDB allows you to rearrange your data using its native scripting language Flux and a pivot function, letting you visualize this into a table that resembles a relational database like this. Using the Flux scripting language, you can change the shape of your data at will. Flux even lets you combine columns, which in our example makes it easier to look at the temperature and humidity in our fridge and freezer like this. The possibilities are endless. Visit www.influxdata.com to explore today.